year 44, make some fucking noise! Help us out all this yeah, man. Just Blaze and Newman, Sean from Crew Clothing, anyone that fucking shows today, yeah. everybody yeah, knows him. Right, straight into the bollocks. On my right hand side, representing <coughs> North Strand in Dublin, we've got Rob Steens and Mitch. Yeah. Call us cocaine, cause we are crazy and white. Lady Akins had to kill a lot of place in the morning. <laughs> Dizzy D is the fucking future. Dizzy D, watch out for him. <laughs> and on the left hand side we have representing Fat the Me, El Damon Gower. <laughs> representing Don Cough, motherfucker. Don't cough. Alright, uh, Steve, you call it? Heads. Right. 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 I think Rob's on the magical liquor So he's spending most of his time trying to remember the time he was a smear criminal and dancing the thriller And if your people still haven't managed to figure This is the idiot that is known to constantly be the what he's making sweet love to the man in the mirror <laughs> And you're not bad you're not bad, and as soon as there's trouble, you're off in your toes. And when Rob was on about preparing for the battle, he wasn't on about walking his sound or rocking his flowers. Now Rob was on about a journey to town, and every shop that he knows, torn to town, fucking shopping for clothes. <laughs> you're really a diva, and people, if you pay attention quite often, they show us. Watch, listen to Steve's lines, and then Tommy finishes, he always stops. <laughs> and what they're trying to say, this fuel is mad, you're not real, it's bad, so this is looking your last choice. So before you stop and look and ask why, somebody please tell this faggot that you don't have to whack the puff to be a fucking bad boy. One minute, you! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. One minute, I'll rob season whenever you're ready. Go for it. I don't know who this bloke is, so I was rummaging him for facts. And then it hit me. He looks like a fat Ryan Tuberty on crack. <laughs> You're a junky looking pox. There's no way it's your hot son. I keep thinking he's gonna come up and ask me for spare change for a hostel. I mean, yeah. look at you. Your eyes are falling out with your face. On the weekends, I pull boards. You get strung out with your mates. In the back of a lane, putting smack in your veins. And the only reason you wanna battle is cause you are battling Gwen. There's no way a junkie's beating me. Even if I have to smack him and brawl, he just be getting stoned with Sawyer. What call the madam and Paul? You see him in the sleeping bag in Henry Street, talking to himself and rocking away. And the only reason people think you're sick is because you probably have AIDS. He's just like, ah, fucker, it doesn't hurt me, really. He's just wondering how he got it the gay sex or the dirty needles. You're a fucking idiot. Is this a practical joke? You have me battling a bloke that's off his mallet and yokes as well as smacking some coke and probably cracking some dope as well as acid and snow. You fucking at it, you're slow and have the massive of snows and you love shagging the blokes. Plus, you're a faggot, you dope. <laughs> Go for it. When I come to the shit, I get sting in your heart. You're on about pulling the ball, fag. You can pull a string from a guitar. <laughs> I know Jack Jigsaw stories, so you can call me the Jigsaw Teeth. Lyrically creating torture pieces that would make us scream, God, oh Jesus. And avoid the Jigsaw Teeth, this is the Jigsaw Shop. Because the only time I'm ready to go is when I leave Rob in pieces. And just in case you people forgotten, this is the man that brought up and down to nothing but smoke and ash of an overcast. When he reached about the car glad and he stole the ass, got stoned and bashed and absolutely smoked by Nash. <laughs> <laughs> But man, you're coming, but the crazy coming over fast. Like the way Nugget don't create a moment when he came to reality and realized walking with you was not a waste of time. And no way you could stand. This man's a new, this man's a new man in the gang. He's now wrapped up with Swayze. You're getting walked all over that madness of Swayze. And if you're playing the part, then I'm putting an end to your crew. You could call me the cancer, the Swayze. One minute, you! Listen. <laughs> Alright, turn around. All right. All right, that's why you should stop writing battle raps and go lie on some train tracks. And for making everybody here listen to that shit, I hope you die in a plane crash. <laughs> I wanted a good battle. I got some muppet whose bars are whack. Short, square head, virgin. I got fucking Carlton Banks. I'm <laughs> the hardest man, but that's his girls are 30. Looks like he's had less sex than the Virgin Mary. <laughs> he likes pleasing 
Who's on both men? When I'm feeling a slow chest and you look like the love child of fucking Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> he has an obsession with Eminem, he's in love with the way he raps. But your average at best on recovery, your relapse. Ooh. I'm big headed, but well, so what? I'm hard as hell on fucking tunes. You're big headed, but that's just because your head is fucking huge. <laughs> when I put on tunes, doing shows, or high on the weird smoke, your throat was only sore last time from giving Soyo some deep throat. Which means don't flop tree was the only time you could ever be sick, bro. And you had a hoite around Mysterio with the head of the big show. And cause you can freestyle half decent in the scene, you think you're incredibly gifted. But come on, man, that's like saying you're the most athletic in the Special Olympics. <laughs> Do a lot of people know about the fantasy you think no, she's actually too sick. This fucking weirdo has a sick fetish of fucking writing gangster rappers and listening to classical music. And they always stay busy. And don't and this man that stays busy by pulling flesh till he dough pulls an archery. And it may sound crazy, but Rob Steve's biggest wish is to bone togs and harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, am I the only one that's amazed at this shit? Man, get over yourself, cos you're making me sick. And for those who don't know, Rob has a tattoo, who actually has a tattoo of his face on his dick. <laughs> Can you people be imagining this? Pretty Anytime he's that. having the piss and taking the shit, he's gonna be looking now smiling and fuck blown kisses and fucking waving at it. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you something about this dodgy pigeon. He's a living proof of a contradiction. How the fuck does that shit run? So if you listen to tracks that Rob is spitting, you find that he's often dissing the role of a politician, considering your Fucking dad is one. So, let, and don't believe me, here's the proof. A Rob's 18, he was getting spit in malarkey. We were looking for a woman, some women to start fucking, start drinking Bacardi, but now for Rob's 18, he had a fucking political party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, yeah. you. Go for it, man, yeah. Luke likes to talk shit on the internet, but you're not acting so tough now, cause in real life, man, you're more of a faggot than monk house. I'm oh. face to face now, and I don't see you talking, you can only reply to your keyboards like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> and you can, talk about, and you can talk about me tattoos, but don't expect me to act like that shit's appealing. You're a junkie, we both put needles in our arms, Luke, just for different reasons. <laughs> I bring the harvest on beach, you don't bring a margin of heat. So when I call you a dick, it's cause you are what you eat. <laughs> and the only way you're beating me is if you rub me like me did loud So I'll go on a rampage, make them think I'm real mo You're a dipshit clown bro, everyone in the crowd knows That you're about as hip hop as the Vincent Brown show <laughs> And you're from Fatty Ma, but fuck Fatty Ma, you a fatty ma <laughs> You probably suck off a gang of lads for a rack of lamb A pack of ham and half a gram, you faggot sham <laughs> And so basically, to sum it up, you're ugly, you're an Asian, you're the stupidest cunt I've ever met in my life, but you're a whopper foe. Nah, I'm only messing your shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I was gonna say, I liked the demons flow a bit more, like those rhyme schemes a little bit more, but fucking Steens and Hannah on the personals and just overall, so. Uh, Ron, no beard anymore. Um, the first two rounds were very even. Rob smashed the third round, top to bottom. Was the crack? I uh, thought that started off fairly even at the beginning. I think uh, El Demon kind of struggled with the delivery, and uh, I thought Steens kind of bodied it towards the end, so I'm gonna get the Steens. It's Kess Nash representing Rebel Faction. A lot of El Demon's punches flew over the crow's head, so I have to give the rap scene some tree. It was hard, Mad Manic Rebel Faction was a crack. We thought that was a sick battle now, to be honest, but the first one to rob, we thought Luke was nearly getting it on the, the second one, but the charismatic and the performance by Rob took it on the tour for me, so two one. That's it, Rob. Welcome back to DFY4, make some fucking noise. Yeah. Watching El Demon versus Rob Stainson. We have a decision. The winner. In three. Rob Stainson. Yeah! yeah.